Hey, so last video for today. I'm um, just looking at some of my uh, the pickups I've uh, some of the, the 4K content I purchased since um, my last video about two months ago. Um, we we I did my video for Logan earlier. Um, everybody's seen this Planet Earth. Obviously, it's kind of become one of the big reference discs that everybody's talking about. Um, I pre-ordered this probably about I guess three months before it was released and got it on release day. And I'm still only on disc, the first disc. I just haven't had time to watch through it. But that's also because some of the content is just a repeated from other Planet Earths I've seen. Um, I love this stuff. I own Planet Earth, the first one. Uh, Life, Human Planet, Samsara, Baraka, Kronos. Definitely stuff to pick up if you're really into this kind of thing. Um, and this is spectacular. I was actually watching this on... I threw it into my Samsung and was watching it on that before uh, my OLED showed up uh, yesterday and threw it back in on the OLED and it was just, I, I couldn't believe how good it looked on the OLED because the Samsung, I didn't think it could get any better and it was just, it was breathtaking. Just, it was like a whole different, not a whole, I should say a whole different film, but it took it to that next level. Um, so, but if you were into this kind of documentary nature stuff, it's definitely something to own it it is it is it's it's just it's brilliant it's uplifting even when i just hear the uh, the soundtrack or the the, the the sort of the title music it kind of makes me smile there's something that's very powerful and moving about it so i would say it's a five overall video quality sound quality like the surround sound on this is incredible just hearing the animals and everything else around the forest or wherever the environment is amazing picture quality second to none and i love the david attenborough sort of uh voiceovers Unforgiven. I'm a big Western fan. This is my favorite Western of all time um, Great film I haven't watched this yet in the HDR. I have the uh, blu-ray version of it. So I'm uh, from, from what I've seen from rating so uh, On blu-ray.com it gets a pretty high rating. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it um from what I can remember as far as what movie wise it's five I can't rate the audio or video for you yet because I haven't watched it but I'd say if you like westerns and like really good westerns um, this is definitely worth picking up Clint Eastwood's just classic he's you know as far as westerns are concerned he's the king Fantastic Beasts I have tried to get through this film three times now, I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, like to the point where I feel like I need to. I didn't rebuy any of them on 4K. I already owned the Blu-ray set. I own the Steel Books. I, they're good. They're good movies, but I couldn't see buying them on 4K and watching through them all again. And from what I understand, the transfers are decent, but not great. Not much better than buying the Blu-ray. They're not really worth the. The upgrade and then the, and the, the movies they released are like the, the were the later films so I can't, I can't imagine what they're going to do with the earlier ones how those are going to uh, how those are going to translate but um, the, the theory of everything is a great film so I am a fan of uh, and I can't even remember his name right now it was in my head a second Eddie Redmayne but I don't know I just for some reason I don't like I, I can't say I don't like the movie I just don't think that it, it doesn't hold my attention for very long I watch it and I've gotten about an hour in each time and then just lost interest and went off and done something else and have tried to go back numerous times and you know the picture quality is, is good the audio quality is good I just I think the movie itself out of a five I'd give it a three um, so like you know and no offense to people who love this stuff and love this movie it's just to my tastes it's not something that I would uh I wouldn't buy it a second time if I knew what I would, you know, I hadn't seen it before, I just bought it. So, but you know, and I'm also a collector of steel books, so that's one of the reasons I bought this, because I got the steel book version, but uh, I don't know that I'd necessarily buy this again or recommend it to anybody. Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. This was recommended to me by uh, Jennifer Gala, and the movie itself isn't great, but the transfer of this film is spectacular I've never seen anything like it um, you know it was directed by Ang Lee of course he directed Life of Pi 
and he's always somebody who likes to sort of push the boundaries of technology and it's shot in native it's a digital 4k intermediate but it was also shot 120 frames per second when it was released there was only i believe they said three or four of movie theaters in in los angeles that were capable of showing it at that so for the most part it was released at 40 uh, at uh, 60 frames per second in theaters the 3d which also comes with this as well as well as a blu-ray is supposed to be some of the best 3d that's ever been released so i haven't watched it in 3d i don't know that I, I i probably will just to sort of see what it looks like but i won't watch the whole film definitely but the 4k transfer is spectacular it is so you realize that it's not just about resolution that also frames uh, the how fast the shutter is moving also dictates how detailed something's going to be because it's going to take in more information with every uh every time the shutter is closing and the faster it works the more detail it will get so you get this picture quality that's just this is like standing in the room when something is happening because it is so breathtakingly realistic and then with the hdr you know, the brightness it's almost too real i think like it almost looks like a really good if you ever seen something on cable that's just shot well and you're like wow that looks amazing that's what this reminds me of and it almost seems too realistic in the way it looks that the story itself i think is often it's distracting how good it looks that the story just doesn't jive with the technology this i think technology would be way better for something like a concert or something like coachella it would look amazing to see that kind of thing you know what i mean uh, uh i think it would work more so for that kind of stuff but it's going to be interesting to see where they go down the road with this sort of thing i can't recommend it as a movie as a movie i would give it like a, a two picture quality wise it's a five and audio quality wise it's a five it's more of a tech demo if you love 4k tech and you really you know have a good setup and you want to see what it's capable of it's definitely worth picking up maybe not at full price unless you're a real tech head like myself but um yeah i don't know again pick it up if you like this kind of thing patriots day peter berg you know mark Wahlberg. peter berg loves doing those real event movies what he do at deep water horizon uh lone survivor and then this great film uh, mark Wahlberg's is good in it um it's based on the boston um, bombings during the uh the boston marathon good transfer you know it's nothing it's not the best of the transfers the movies, as I said, uh, the movie itself is a four out of five, in my opinion. The uh, picture quality is a four out of five. The audio quality is it's a five. It's a good audio, a lot of great ambient sounds. Um, um, but if you like this kind of film, like the terrorist thing and the investigations and real human stories, then this is a movie for you. If you don't, don't even bother with it. Passengers. I'm sure. I know there've been a ton of videos on this film. I like this movie personally because I like science fiction. I like the idea of space travel. I like the idea of deep space travel, of going to different galaxies and all that stuff. It's always intrigued me. I also like Chris Pratt. I'm not a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan. I, I do think she's talented, but I'm not somebody who's going to go see a film because she's in it. But uh, Chris Pratt is a different story. Um, I like his films, and I, I like this movie. I think. As far as the transfer is concerned, it's a very good looking movie. The audio is also very good, I think. So the, the transfer is a 4.5, the audio is a 5. The movie itself is a 3.5, depending on what you like. I consider it a 4 myself for my kind of film. But, uh, um, you know, I wouldn't. If somebody said to me, Would you recommend me go and spend full price on this? I'd say, No, wait till it goes on sale. Um, but if it does go on sale, I would say definitely grab it. It, it will be, you won't be sorry you have in your collection by any stretch of the imagination. And lastly, La La Land. I hate musicals. At least I keep telling myself that and then I see it go down. I'm like, that wasn't bad. Like, you know, uh, Sweeney Todd was good. It's a very good musical. This is a good film. It started out with a musical number and I rolled my eyes and thought I'm going to vomit on myself. I can't sit here and watch this whole movie if they're going to do this. If everybody's going to sing everything, I'm going to die.
but as I was watching it, it just be, the, the, the complexity of the, the musical number and the cinematography, I was just like, whoa. And then just the color palette of the film and the story. And then I thought it was going to be a very serious film, but it's very, very funny. And it sort of, you know, it touches a lot of things to me too, a lot of sort of in the time I grew up in. But it's one of those films because it's shot, and in, in the way it's shot, it's kind of timeless. You don't know if it's like an a 80s film or a film that's sort of more set in the 40s or the 60s or, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's shot in such a way that it doesn't really have, you can't really pin it down at one time, but there are little elements that sort of tell you that this is when the movie would be taking place, but it's just done so well. Uh, it reminds me of those, those old musical numbers, like with Gene Kelly and, uh, or sort of was Grace Kelly and uh, and um, and uh, Fred Astaire. You know what I mean? Some of the musical numbers and, and the dancing. And, and Ryan Gosling is very talented. I've never been a huge Emma Stone fan, but she's very good in this. And the film is beautiful to look at. So I would say it's a 4.55 um, picture quality wise and sound quality wise it's definitely I, I'd say a 4.55 in the movie. Well it was nominated for an Oscar, we all saw what happened. I would give it, I don't know if it's perfect, but I would give it a 4, 4.5 as well. And I would say if you like musicals, it's worth picking up and having as part of your collection. Uh, yeah, so anyway. There we have it. Those are the things I've uh, picked up in the last little while. So uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff coming. Actually, 310 to Yuma should be here in the next couple of days. And I've uh, got some other stuff pre-ordered. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, talk at you.